Today, I'll walk you through how to send your Apple Health data Notion. I'm starting out here with a very simplistic database where I'll be tracking steps, active energy, and my period. So let's switch over to my phone. It's shortcuts and let's click add action, type in health, find health samples. Okay, so it defaults to finding my step sample. So let's walk through what the data that we have here. We have find all health samples, where all, or if I tap this, I can use any steps, and we get so many different options here. There's a lot of data that you can track and export. So it defaults to step date is in the last seven days. I'm going to change this to today. No filter, unit is count. Let's group by the day so it'll total up all the steps throughout the day. Uncheck fill missing because it'll give us, we don't want it to give us any zero data. And I don't really care about sorting and we'll leave limiting alone. So that's how we get our steps. Let's go back and search health. Let's find our active energy. So you notice when you add a second health sample, it automatically thinks that you're filtering the health samples from above. So it thinks that I'm filtering my steps sample. So let's click on health samples and clear that. And it goes back to all health samples. So all health samples where the following are true type is, and let's put active energy and start date is today. My unit is calories. I can change that to kcal group by day feeling missing let's uncheck that all right so it's suggesting my next action is to find health samples and it will be correct type is menstruation started to hate is today now i have to send this data to make so i want get contents of url here at the end so let's go back to computer and i already have a scenario set up here so i'm going to click on my webhook here copy address to clipboard and then because i have my phone connected to my macbook I can just go ahead and paste the url on my phone it'll show up I'm changing my method to post skip headers request body stays json first key is a number and that is my steps I'm going to clear out that zero, select variable, and it's our first one here, our first sample, and let's rename that to steps. Okay, our next key is also a number. The next key is period, which is going to be text. In make, I'm going to click redetermine data structure and run this so that it knows we can figure out what data we're it should be looking for. Okay, so the first time you run, run this, because of Apple's privacy setup, you have to give it permission to send this data to this webhook. So if you click always allow, it won't show this um, again after this. It'll just show up the first time, so always allow. So I'm just going to run this first module. And you can see we have our step, we have our energy, and period is blank, which is a good thing. Um, and I'll explain to that later. So how are we sending this data to Notion? First, we're starting with a search object module. So every morning in Notion, I have an entry scheduled in this database. So if Notion did its job, I'm filtering for the created time is after yesterday so after yesterday is today and my limit is one and then we are updating that page that is found mapping over the page id um, leaving the name blank because i usually have that day's date and then let's bring over steps there we go and then active energy so now for period this doesn't apply to you just skip ahead i have a checkbox so it's either as a yes or a no. But when you get the data that comes in, it's either going to be blank or it'll say medium, heavy, but I just want to know yes or no. So I'm going to click map here and I'm going to go over to general functions and get my if empty function. If period data is empty, then the answer is false. And if it's false, the checkbox is going to be unchecked. If it's true, uh, it'll be checked. Turn this on to run. Let's go ahead and test it. 
And there you have it, called my webhook. And there we have our steps, active energy, and our checkbox is not checked because I do not have my period. Now you see active energy though has decimal points. So let's go back, go to our math functions and round. Just put active energy in between the parentheses. Test it again. And there you go, it's rounded to 523. Now I do have it set up on my phone as an automation. So I have it set up to run um, every morning at 9 a.m. so that it'll record my morning walk. And then every night at 11 p.m. A link to this shortcut can be found in the description. While you can't set it up as an automation, you can add it as a button on your phone. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.